Here is a new tutorial on how to do um, a box with a hole in it. So you could start with a box like this and we could make a copy by pressing ALT and scaling it. And now we could use a boolean. So we could type boolean difference, subtract from this one, right click, and this one, right click. So this is one way of doing it. It might not always be the most prettiest way. Another way of doing a box with or without a hole is to use a curve, a 2D shape, such as a rectangle. So you can draw it like this, or you could type rectangle, enter, and you could draw it like this. What you could also do is ask for rounded, and what it does is that it lets you draw one, and at the end, you can even do a rounding. And to make this 3D, so this curve could actually be drawn in Illustrator, in AutoCAD, it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be a rhino curve uh, and the command is called extrude CRV extrude curve this is like 2D to 3D make sure solid is turned to yes voila so now if we had um, a curve inside this we select both and go extrude curve uh, now it would create a hole if it's snapping this is the object snap you can press alt to temporarily disable the object snap and if you want a frame you go control shift e it's like um, center selected or zoom uh, extend yeah so using the same technique we could draw a shelf with holes on it so I've already done a render of it, but uh, I'll bring it in. So to bring an image or a drawing in Rhino, you type picture. If you're using version 5, you have to type picture frame. But in V6 or 7, it's picture. So this is the one I was about to do. Uh, so I could bring this. And then it asks you to draw the rectangle, and you just draw it. As you can tell, this is an image that I found online. So one way to draw this is to do rectangle. I'll just do a little bit of it and draw one here. Then you can right click to do a new one. You could start it exactly at the, at the same location. This is great if you're going to cut it or uh, fabricate it. If not, I actually like to have a bit of light. It looks more real when you do a... Um, you can use the tracking. It looks more real when you do a render. Voila, I'll do another one here. And maybe one more here. Okay. Just for the um, demonstration, I'll hide the backdrop, I'll delete. And now we can use a tool called Offset. Uh, the distance is up to you, and you want to offset this one, and it asks you inside or outside. So if you think it's too much, you can click here and ch change it. In my case, it looks okay. So left click, right click to redo the offset, left click, right click. Voila. When this is done, you can select the whole thing, extrude curve, and then come here and uh, press ALT so there's no snapping. To make it more interesting, you could just uh, move some in and some out like we saw on the drawing. Voila. And if you want to test it, you can just go render and look at it. Um, to 
go to Modo, as you know, we just select the whole thing, mesh, delete the solid, save ver version 5, and uh, you can watch the shell for the coffee table to render in Modo. And uh, you'll get a render, I just made one yesterday, like this. So this is the exact same one that I brought in Modo. I put a plane, I put another plane that I rotated, and I just took the default gray and I made it a little bit wider, whiter, sorry. And uh, you see I left space, I think it looks more natural. Voila.